I'll be honest with you, I probably haven't cleaned my car in about a year. And I'm pretty tidy in the vehicle, like I don't eat in there too much, but even still, you know, my Starbucks drink will spill, there will be crumbs, I might pile up a little too much clutter or paper in there. And with the added challenge of having a kid, I told myself, you know, when I have kids, I'm not gonna let them eat in the car, but the truth is, sometimes it has to happen. So there are rice cake and cracker and cookie crumbs, there are some milk spills and some things I'd rather not have in the car, baby stuff or not. So in this video, I'm gonna do what I should have done a year ago. I'm gonna clean it and I'm gonna walk through some specific vehicle cleaning challenges with you and talk over the products, tools and techniques that I'm using to get the car clean and feeling great in a short amount of time. And just a quick reminder, if you haven't done so already to subscribe to the Clean My Space channel, remember to turn on that notification bell so you always know when there's a new Clean My Space video up in your feed. And in this video, I'm gonna be debuting our newest product over at makersclean.com, which is our auto kit. Just wait until you see the color. Oh yeah, give this video a thumbs up if your car needs a good car cleaning. So as with any cleaning job, the first thing I like to do is go around the space and remove all of the clutter. Tidy and organize, it's what I always call wave one. And I try to be really careful not building up too much clutter in my car, but let me tell you, it gets there. So I'm going into all of the nooks and crannies and kind of sorting through. I have these two boxes, things that I'm keeping and putting back in the car, and things that I'm either throwing out or I have to file away like receipts. I also will say that since having a kid, I've had to be even more mindful about not letting clutter build up in the car. So I actually have a bin where I keep Riley's toys and I try my best to avoid the amount of food that we eat in the car. You can see there was a milk explosion on the seat next to her car seat. And of course the stroller, which takes up a lot of space in the trunk. I also like to keep the rubberized mats in the car even during the warmer months. I just find them easier to clean and I'm less guilty about getting them dirty <laughs> instead of getting those carpeted mats dirty. Now here I'm using a combination of vinegar and dish soap and an iron handle scrub brush to really work the solution in. I find equal parts of vinegar and dish soap are great at breaking down all of that dirt and buildup and also helping to deodorize the mats. Now we're on to wave two, cleaning, and I am using the appropriate cleaner for the appropriate surface. I have glass cleaner for the windows and then a very gentle all-purpose cleaner, just soap and water, because of course you have to be mindful in a car that you're using the right cleaner. You don't wanna have anything streak or stain. I also realize I'm filming during a very sunny afternoon. That's typically not advisable when you're cleaning a car. The sun can actually bake product onto the glass or the surface and it makes it look streaky over time. So it's actually better to do this first thing in the morning or after the sun's gone down in the evening so that you're not contending with that. Now of course I have a good selection of microfiber cloths that I am bringing with me. I've got this really large double-sided ultra plush cloth which is so great for cleaning those hard to reach areas, really getting into those difficult spots. I've also got that cleaning toothbrush, which is perfect to get into all of those tiny little areas, the vents and in the, in the buttons. That's actually where a lot of dead skin cells, those kind of white flaky looking things get. And over time, they start to build up and it looks really crusty and gross. So whenever I do a detail job on the car, I always have a cleaning toothbrush with me. Now when I do this detail work, I work from the top to the bottom, so that way I'm not getting any of those flaky things on areas that I've already cleaned. Once I've done the brushing, I will then follow up with a vacuum using a brush attachment, and that allows me to get anything that I've swept away that I haven't been able to pick up just with wiping. I've gotta tell you, it is a bit of a time investment to clean your car, but it feels like a brand new driving experience once the car has actually been cleaned. And I like to work section by section, so I always start driver's seat, then I work my way over to passenger side once I've done the center console. Driver's seat, to me, obviously takes the most time. 
And I'm always careful, you know, whenever I'm cleaning a car, I'm always careful to work section by section and really have a look at the surface that I'm cleaning so I know what tool, product and technique or product tool and technique, PTT, that I should be using to make sure that I'm not causing damage. Now, because this car has a leather interior, I'm using just general soapy water, a very, very low dilution. It's probably a pinky nail size squirt of dish soap to do the cleaning. Uh, and then I will finish this up with a leather treatment, which you'll see after. Now I'm using my vacuum with brush attachment to get into all of those little crevices where crumbs can get into. That's really important to me. You know, if you're gonna have a clean car, the upholstery, I really just want it to get as clean looking as possible. Although I do find it's really hard to ever get a car looking like it's brand new, but I always do my absolute best. I use the power head attachment when I'm cleaning the floor. Although I do find even with a great vacuum, it's very hard to get into those tiny corners. So I'll change out attachments, but honestly, like there are some really difficult tight corners to get into in a vehicle. So, you know, once I've tried a couple of different things, I just let it go and move on. Now, the reason why it's important to vacuum things up in a vehicle is because those little crumbs over time can lead to odor and that kind of stale smell in the car. So if you vacuum and you maintain it every now and then, your car will always smell fresh. Not that new car smell, but it will just, it won't smell stuffy. And that is really nice. Now here I'm applying this interior car treatment product using a microfiber cloth and the S pattern. I just followed the package instructions here. It was nothing difficult nor fancy, but as you can see, uh, it kind of wiped off the area with the milk stain and then finished up with a wipe down of this treatment here. And it actually left the car looking really, really nice. I was really pleased with the results. And finally, I'll finish up with the trunk. You know, we, we like to transport a lot of garden supplies in the summer, because now we have this larger lot. So we're doing a lot more gardening. And because of that, we get a lot of crumbs and dirt building up. So I find keeping up with that is super important. Also, because we put the stroller in and out of the trunk so much, it transports a lot of dirt, which is why I wanna make sure we stay on top of the trunk. Then it's just down to detail. So the little kick plates, the side where the door meets the frame of the car, I like to make sure that that's nice and clean too. So I'm just using some soapy water and I'll finish up by vacuuming the car mats. I also know that you're not supposed to layer the rubber mat over the carpet. Um, so please don't do that in the driver's seat. Now here I'm just sprinkling uh, some essential oils on the car mats just to help them smell a little bit more fresh. I'm using peppermint, which is a really nice way to pep yourself up when you're in the middle of a long commute. And I'm going to give those rubber car mats a good rinse. They've had some time to sit with themselves in that soapy vinegary mixture. This is a really good rinse down. I'm using a powerful setting on the hose and I will do that until it rinses out suds free. Then I'm just gonna let those dry and then I will replace them. I'm a firm believer in bringing in an expert where an expert is needed, which is why we've called upon our friend Pan from the YouTube channel, Pan the Organizer. He is a huge fan of Makers Clean, and he was also the first YouTube channel to review our microfiber cloths. Pan is an expert car detailer, which is why we've brought him in to help us out with this last tip about cleaning the exterior of the vehicle. He's gonna give you a little expert tip on that one. Clearly, I've shown you the inside. I'm gonna let him handle the exterior. And if you wanna learn more about Pan or check out his channel, it is amazing and so satisfying to watch. You can check out his link in the description box below. So hey guys, I'm Pan the Organizer and I have been detailing cars for over 22 years now. And if you wanna learn how to properly clean and detail your vehicle, check out my YouTube channel. So what we will be doing today is I'm gonna show you a quick way to add protection and boost the gloss of your paintwork by applying a spray wax. So the spray wax is a quick and very efficient way to boost the gloss and add a few months of protection on your paintwork, protect against the sun's damaging UV rays, and of course, make it 
look and separate you from the rest of the pack because your vehicle is gonna look awesome. So to do the job today, we're gonna be using two of the auto kit towels. So the first one is the general purpose towel. And the second towel is the plush utility double-sided towel. A pro tip of, to start off is to always work on a cool surface, if possible in the shade or in a garage. So if you have to work outside, wait till the end of the day when the sun is not at its brightest. And that's gonna increase your pleasure while doing the job because the product is not gonna evaporate as quickly and you're not gonna leave any streaks. So so you take your spray wax, just a few sprays on the section you're working on. I recommend working in two by two sections. We're gonna take the general purpose towel and work the product in that two by two section, just as so. And then you're gonna take a clean and dry second towel, which is the plush double-sided utility towel to buff off the finish to a streak free shine. And that is it. Come in for a close up because you guys are going to see that it's a beautiful way, as I said, to add some protection on your paintwork and increase the gloss. You're going to see a nice hydrophobic effect on the paint, meaning that the water is going to bead off and sheet off very nicely. So for all of you who love that stuff, when it rains outside, you're going to see these nice droplets of water on the paint. And that's a visual indicator that you've added some protection on the paintwork. So again, I want to thank Melissa for having me on her channel. And well, Pan the Organizer highly recommends, of course, the Makers Clean Auto Kit Towels. And that leads me to this week's comment question, which is, what is the smelliest or grossest thing you've seen in your car? I know uh, for me, it was an old apple core, which is one of the reasons why I don't eat in my car on a regular basis anymore. This apple core had kind of like tumbled under the car seat and it just started to smell rotten and disgusting in there. And I couldn't figure out why until I got down on hands and knees and I kind of looked everywhere. I used a flashlight and I retrieved this disgusting, Stinky apple core. Let it serve as a reminder to all of us. Eating in the car, not a good idea. Anyway, let me know what your stinky or smelly thing was or visually unappealing stain in the car was down below. If you wanna see what we're up to during the rest of the week, you can follow along on Instagram. I'm at Melissa Maker. Chad is at the Chad Reynolds. The two of us are at Clean My Space. If you love the Clean My Space channel and you wanna support us, the easiest way to do that is to just watch another video right after this one. And here are a couple that I think you might love. If you wanna learn more about Makers Clean microfiber cloths, and of course you do, you can click this button right over there. There is a button down there that lets me know you care. So click it if you liked this video and click this button right here to subscribe and begin your journey to a cleaner life. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.